We see climate change as um, a security issue, um, as much as a human rights issue. And well, of course, it's an environment issue, but mainly it's a human rights and a security issue. We're at the forefront of the changes that have already been taking place and the changes that are, that are happening with our climate. And therefore, it's very, very important that we have a voice. We are just 1.5 metres over sea level. Any rise in sea level would basically wipe off the Maldives. Um, so we will be affected very quickly and very soon. The changes that have been occurring have been very subtle, but they are changing and we do notice them. Firstly, um, there's a lot of erosion and, and people are having to move their homes because of that. Um, we've already this year had uh, problems with two islands uh, and, and we are having to move them to other islands. Or we have to build revetments and embankments and water breakers and so on to safeguard um, these islands. The uncertainty in terms of the, um, our ability to grow crops, um, droughts, the fact that some of our islands are becoming inundated with water Fresh water is, is going to be an issue and a problem. More intensity in the cyclones. In 2004, we had a Category 5 cyclone. We haven't been able to recover economically from that. A lot of our tourism infrastructure was, was destroyed. A lot of the homes were destroyed, and some of these homes were 30, 40 metres above sea level. So you can imagine. Uh, the fear that has been instilled in many people. Psychologically, some people still suffer from that particular cyclone. So therefore, those are the sort of impacts. There are measurable ones and there are immeasurable ones, if you wish. We've been in the Maldives for the last 5,000 years. We have a written history of 2,000 years. Uh, we have well-established cultures and traditions. Um, so uh, we do not feel that it's, re it's really quite on for us not to be living. Um, so for us, it's a human rights issue. The fact that, for example, Kiribati and Tuvalu are likely to lose some if not all of their islands, means that the sovereign rights have been taken. You lose your sovereignty, you lose your heritage, you lose your way of life, you lose your livelihood. And the suggestion perhaps that if you were to re relocate to somewhere like New Zealand or Australia would make it easier, it does not. Not for those people. They don't want to shift, we know that. They've told us that. And in any case, what happens? Do you therefore call a part of New Zealand or Australia or wherever you relocate these people to Kitty Pass or Tuvalu? I don't think so. We all bear the responsibility for climate change. But there are industrial countries, of course, that have production levels that are, that are producing more greenhouse gases than, than others. Therefore, they have a greater responsibility. We've had enough uh, discussions about what levels we should be reducing. We should be reducing now and we should, should be taking the actions. As it stands, the kind of 
uh, structure that we have is through Kyoto Protocol. Now, um, in, in our mind, um, uh, the Kyoto Protocol is a list of things that you can't do. That's very difficult to sell. We have to come up with um, other forms of energy. Instead of asking them to stop producing energy, um, perhaps we should ask them to produce more renewable energy. We hope to, to produce uh, all our electricity using solar uh, in three, four years' time. Uh, I believe that what the EU, for example, is doing with respect to providing us with assistance to ensure that we can do that uh, is significant. It's significant because it demonstrates the fact that if it can be done in a small island country, it can be done in, in, in larger economies as well. Governments won't do anything unless and until people, rich or poor, um, um, come up uh, and, and made, make their voice heard. It's just simply amazing how we might be so complacent enough to see our own demise. Um, um, I mean, I, I really don't think humanity is that suicidal. I really very strongly believe that we will be able to have a solution in this. It's not all doomed. Um, there are ways um, and we should be able to work it out.